I wanted to give them some names with meaning, right? And so Cadence, dancing to the beat of his own drum, you know what I mean? I messed up there, this boy's off the chain. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just caught him. Let me, let me tell you like this, all right. A month ago, the boy was stealing chocolate out of the pantry. So I put him on a, a week suspension. Listen, you can't have chocolate for a week. During the week, he gets caught again, all right? So now he's gotta go two weeks, no chocolate, right? Brother, just got caught again. <laughs> Cadence, you gotta go a month, brother. And then when I caught him, I mean, it was like a deer in headlights, you know what I'm saying? He was just like, I can't help it. I just can't help it. I said, son, you have a choice. You have a choice, you choose to do that. You have a choice. Genesis is dating some punk I don't really care about. I mean, Hayden is, Hayden is, is really good. He's, he's a rule follower, you know? I mean, he is so, I mean, he is so about the rules. Um, we, we named him Haven because we wanted him to, to make people feel safe, like this safe place, this refuge, right? And that's what he does. I'm telling you, he's, he's for the underdog. He stands up for people that's getting bullied, you know? But of course he has his ways as well. I said that to say that they're having experiences that are shaping who they are. It has to do with, of course, the, the household, but outside of the household. Cadence just got a letter sent home from, from school. The teacher said he wrote Bloody Mary on the, on the, on the, on the, on the uh, sidewalk. I'm like, son, where do you get that from? We don't talk like that. We don't talk like that, right? He got it from school. Shaping these personal experiences are also shaping who they are, right? But not just them, me, you. We're all shaped, we all come up, we all have some default settings. I, I, we, we knew that Cadence was a little bit on the impulsive side, he's showing that. Default settings, but there's also some environmental experiences that are shaping who we are. So we are a product of both nature and nurture. The debate is over. It's not versus, it's not nature versus nurture. It's, it's both and, you know, for all of us. So does this mean that, you know, it's a personality doomsday, right? Are we doomed by hereditary and environmental factors? Some people are. Some people are. Some people are who they are because of genetic Genetics, environment, and other random activities. It's unfortunate. But we don't have to be. We can become architects and use our inherited environmental factors as bricks and mortar. <laughs>